And this may just make or break what will what will happen at this in Kravitz Center in the future. And here we go. Another third degree burn. Entering the ring right now, uh, who's going to be fighting out of the red corner, is uh, Yendris Rodriguez Valdez. And um, he's, uh, I've been telling you, he's going to be wearing uh, black trunks with the white trim and uh, the green boxing shoes. And he's going to be taking on a uh, West Palm Beach native uh, in uh, Frankie uh, Gideon. And uh, Frankie Gideon is uh, ready to uh, get his career going. His last fight was in Haiti. As uh, you hear the uh, raw of the crowd. Uh, yeah, 1980? Was, no, from Haiti. His last fight was in Haiti. Oh, in Haiti. Oh, I was in the state. He had a two-year layoff. Started as a pro a little late. He's 35 years old, he's a southpaw, and he's uh, going up against uh, a right-handed fighter, uh, 5'11", in uh, Yendris uh, Rodriguez Valdez. Well, this can come down to a war of attrition. You know, which guy wants it more? Uh, look, you know, Gideon's body, it seems to be in <laughs> excellent condition. I, and I think we're ready to go with Bob Alexander. We're going to go up to Bob right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Kravis Center in West Palm Beach, Florida, our next bout of the evening is your co-main event. Brought to you by Island Boxing. Scheduled for six rounds of professional boxing in the middleweight division. Your judges scoring at ringside are Rocky Young, John Rupert and Mark Streisand. Your referee in charge of the action, Jorge Alonso. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with silver trim. He weighed in at 160 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. One win, no losses, one win by way of knockout. El hijo de Havana, Cuba, here is Yendris Vilos Rodriguez Valdez. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with red and gold trim. He weighed in at 158 and a half pounds. His professional record, five wins, one loss, two draws, Four wins by way of knockout. From West Palm Beach, Florida, here is Frankie the Flash Gideon! the area with some uh, boxing events. This one's a tough one to to, uh, to figure out. You know, I mean, you know, everybody, uh, you know, has their initial feelings before the fight starts. But, uh, but you know, Yendris uh, is, is an unknown, really. <coughs> exactly. And a lot of the Cuban fighters, you know, they're, they're slick. We'll see. Here we go. First round of a scheduled uh, six-round fight. Uh, okay. Rodriguez, Yendris Rodriguez Valdez in the black trunks with the white trim, and uh, Frankie Gideon in the uh, black trunks with the red trim. Gideon yeah. starting in the southpaw stance, as you indicated earlier. Obviously has some decent power, four knockouts and five wins. So we should see some action here. I mean, the first round could be a filling out round, as a lot of first rounders are. But it, it just may heat up quicker. The distance is closing as we speak. Well, you know, the, uh, the other thing, Frankie uh, has been, uh, he does have uh, a couple of uh, uh, draws on his record, and he's got one loss. Um, but he's never been down, never been stopped, I should say. And uh, Yendris uh, Rodriguez Valdez is 1-0 with one knockout. So it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, Frankie continues uh, with uh, what, 
what he's been shown in, the, in his previous fights is a solid chin. Well, when you got a guy that's 1-0 and with one knockout, he has a tendency to believe that that's, you know, all of them come like that. Because, you know, they believe in that power. And sometimes you hit a guy with your best shot and you don't go anywhere, it takes a little life out of you. So we can see this is the very start of his career. Well, I see a weird movement with uh, Yendris' his foot. You see, you see what he's doing with his, with his. I guess it's his left foot. But the other thing is, is he's a he's a bigger guy, um, build wise, and um, he actually they both weighed I think the same for the fight or pretty close to it. But as we're looking at them now. Frankie is clearly in, in uh, better, it looks like better physical shape. Well, I, I haven't agreed, you know. Um, what is this, Valdez, is it? Yeah, Val, yeah. Yeah, Yendris Valdez. Valdez. Valdez? No, Yendris, Yen, Yendris Rodriguez Valdez. Yendris. See, see what he's doing with his left Rodriguez. foot? Rodriguez. Lift, lifting up his left foot. Yes. And, and he's, he seems round around the body. And, and. I don't know what that means in terms of outcome, but well, he is throwing that right hand yeah. with bad intention. Yes, he is. But see, I guess the southpaw, you can run into something. A straight right, and, and it would be an, a testament to uh, Gideon Gideon's. That I, I'm messing these names up. But Gideon's uh, power. You know, it looks like, the, is it, does it look like there's a little swelling under the right eye of Frankie Gideon? He was, he was blinking his eye a little bit and, it, and I, at, maybe it was, the, no, it, it looks there's like a, there's a little swelling under it, there. It does. It does. And that's the bell to end the first round. A, a very fast paced round. Um, I think that, uh, uh, this kid, uh, is, is, is a, is a, you know, like you said, you know, he's got his one win. It's a knockout. And uh, he doesn't want to sit down. He does his not want to his sit His trainer's down. trying to get him to sit down. Um, Which is the smart thing to do, by the way, is to sit down. And I think that, uh, I, I think that what Frankie needs, you know, when, in, in, when Frankie started this uh, round, he was moving around and he was trying to use his jab, and then Yen just came after him uh, with some, uh, you know, power punches with bad intentions like you referred to. And then he, he totally took Frankie out of his game. I, you know, I think, you know, I'm not scoring this fight uh, at all. I'm not, you know, but, but uh, you know, at the end of this round, I, I'm leaning towards Yendris. This kid, Yendris, come, he, listen, he believes in that right hand. I, I would venture to guess in this first pro fight and his first knockout victory came from the right hand. Well, he's, that's all he seems to be thrown. And, it, and it could be because he's up against the southpaw, but. I don't think that's the case. He looks I, very confident. Yeah, and not only does he look confident, he looks um, like uh, he he's not respecting uh, he's Frankie. Cu he's cutting the ring off nicely. Nice defensive moves by Frankie. Gideon. I shouldn't keep referring to him by his first name. Flash. Okay, Flash. But again, you know, I, these fighters, Carl, I, it, it seems to not just be a few. It seems to be the majority do not fight with their hands up anymore. When, when did fighters uh, stop fighting where they're protecting themselves? I mean, it, I think it's a, it's a testament to the lack of quality trainers we have. Well, that is true. A lot of trainers, <coughs> a lot of good trainers. Nice right hand landed by Frankie Gideon, and that got Yendris' attention. No question about that, but now he's coming right back. He wants to make a, a fight of it. But Frankie's, you know what? Frankie Gideon is, is landing some counter punches, very flush. Uh, but again, I'd like to see his hands up. I'd like to see his hands up. Uh, well, this is where the four or five different uh, fight experience comes in. You know, you cannot just run in after you're getting hit because that's how you get knocked out. You got to be very careful and calculated and... Yen just needs to go back to doing what he was doing prior to that. Forget that. You got to have a short memory in this game. Well, I think that, you, you, again, what you said earlier, um, you know, a fighter wins by knockout. It's just like when a fighter knocks a fighter down in a ring, you know, in, the, uh, in, in a round. And, uh, and 
Frankie, Frankie Gideon playing some games. Well, G Gideon is getting inside his head because the kid is now lunging, which he wasn't doing. He was he's taking bigger steps towards him, a wider stance, and he wasn't doing that earlier. He was actually putting uh, a, putting together a fairly decent offensive attack. Now he seems more desperate after getting hit with one shot. Right. Well, oh, see, now Frank is, is, seems to be... Uh, He's um, gained his confidence. Yeah, he is, and and he's 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 countering them really nice, and uh, and and Yen, Yendris is is head hunting. He's clearly head hunting. Well, Jinian has to be careful here because he can also run into that right hand. You know, showboating. This you don't. This is never turn your back. On this somebody. is boxing. You don't play boxing. No. This is a serious, serious business, a serious sport, and you did something. You know, you, you play basketball and football, but you don't play boxing. You know, interesting round. I, I you know, unofficially, I just go off the top of my head. Um, Knockdown. Well, we're gonna get a replay on the slip here. I'm hearing, um, and uh, Frankie, uh, Frankie is counter punching. Uh, and what happened is he actually what we couldn't see in this camera shot. What happened was both their legs got caught, and Frankie actually, it was like a kung fu move or something, I don't know. But uh, but what I was saying is, you know, if I'm looking at this fight, and I see the first round, you could have made the, the case that Yendris won that first round, at least he did to me. But yeah. the second round, I thought clearly. that uh, clearly Frankie uh, Gideon came back. Uh, he's fighting, uh, it, 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 like you said, it seemed like he felt him out a little bit. He's confident at what he's got, what he's bringing. Right, and now uh, Frankie's having some fun out there. And I think that second <coughs> round showed it. Here we go. It's the beginning of the, the third round uh, of a scheduled six-round fight. Frankie Gideon in the black trunks with the red trim facing Yendris Rodriguez Valdez in the black trunks with the white trim and the black stockings. See, and I think that second round for Gideon as well, was very frustrating for Yengis. I, I, I just think that you got to watch the heads in situations like that. But I thought that the showing off kind of took a little confidence level away from Yengis, what he was doing prior to getting hit with a solid shot. You know, I'll tell you something. Turn if, the fight around. Yeah, I, I think Frankie's confidence is turning the fight around. And you know what? Uh, let me tell you. Um, honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen Frankie Gideon fight live, and uh, I, I think if this kid had a little more pop, he would be a dangerous fighter. He could be. You think he would do a little better with a, gaining a little weight? Um, yeah, he has the frame for it. He has very small legs. Yeah. And that only indicates that if he gets it nailed, it's be, it can be hard for him to get up because that's where you, that's where you get up from the bottom. Yeah, but if he's legs. fighting 154 pounders, he's going to be way bigger, at least height wise. And he'll be in there with a whole different class of guys too. As he moves up. No. Uh, so unless them legs get bigger, and you say he's 35 years old. Mm -hmm. He needs to step. What I think he needs to do is to be more active. I like the head movement. You know, he seems to be uh, moving his head. It's, uh, he's making himself difficult for Yendris to hit him, which is always a good start in a fight. And uh, Yendris, like you said, you know, he seems to be very one-dimensional. Uh -oh. Left hook. See, that running around, that's an amateur, inexperienced move, and he's going to run into something. And get hurt here. If Frank, he's not Frank very careful. Frankie's picking him apart at this point. Oh, yeah. He's oh, oh, he might even stop him. See, there it is. Like I said, it's going to frustrate him, and he's going and, and to make him run right into something he's setting up. Frankie looks pretty, pretty good in here. And now, all of a sudden, uh, uh, Yen just is not throwing punches. He's... Uh, He's waiting to get hit. He certainly can take a shot, but he's not landing any anymore. Well, taking shots have, have, through my career has taught me one thing, that it shortens careers. That's right. Now, Ooh, that did. was a nice shot. Yeah, it looked like that stunned Frankie a little bit. And uh, 
Frankie holds on, gains his composure. Well, yeah, well you know, you, you got to put punches in bunches, combinations, uh, not one punch at a time. I think uh, Yendris, uh, now he's sitting. <laughs> and uh, and I, yeah. I think I think that you know he's lunging. Um, but but you know. see how he's sitting. You need to stretch your legs. People fail to realize the importance of the corner. In a ten round fight, I want my fighter to give me eight rounds. My trainer should give me two. In a twelve round fight, give me nine rounds from my fighter, three rounds from the trainer. Because his legs should be spread, they should be completely spread out, totally relaxed, with your arms hanging between your your legs, and 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 then you you don't not like Frankie sitting, and not like Yeager uh, just so Ye is sitting, and that's not being taught. And you made you alluded, you alluded to that earlier about the quality of trainers in the sport in general. Not these trainers. We're not talking about anybody particularly here. But we're talking about all over the globe in terms of boxing training. It's true, and I think that that's a, a, a really weakness we have in professional boxing today. But you can hear me talk about that on my show every day. But here we go uh, back to the action. As we start round number four of a scheduled six-round fight, Frankie Gideon, uh, a local product out of West Palm. He's in the black trunks with the red trim. Uh, taking on uh, former uh, Cuban, who's now living in Miami, Yendris Rodriguez Valdez, who's uh, in the black trunks with the white trim. And Frankie is uh, counterpunching this guy at will now. And uh, Yendris is still headhunting. Uh, he has displayed a solid chin. Um, Frankie has landed flush, but we, just as we saw in round one and at the end of the last round, Yendris has landed some shots too. And, uh, right. you know, with a puncher like that, you never know what's going to happen. Right. And see, a lot of things that happened to Cuban fighters when they came over from Cuba, they, they, they found out about buffets and they found out about steaks that they, were, they, they, were under, they, they weren't afforded those luxuries in Cuba. And it cost a lot of really good fighters. Uh, careers because they they blew up and they weren't really the size for that. But 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 that it's 100 percent true and we've seen a lot of Cuban fighters that had all kinds of talent come here to the states and never do anything. But in this guy's particular case, at least from what I know of him, he didn't have one of those extended amateur careers. He wasn't he wasn't a national champion fighting international competition or anything like that. He, he was just a guy that had a couple of amateur fights and came over to the States and wanted to get back into it. And uh, I think he possesses some power, which, hey, listen, if, if we didn't know that he was from Cuba, we would never think he was a typical Cuban fighter because he's no. fighting nothing like a Cuban no, fighter. No, he doesn't. But what he does have is heart. And he's determined and he's trying to win. He's not, he didn't come to show up. He came to win. No, he came to win, right. And he has stopped Mr. Gideon, 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 Gideon. Gideon. You're worse than me, murdering name. Hey, look, I'm, you know, especially when I am not, I don't have a paper in front of me. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have it, you don't have it broken down on how to pronounce it. Yeah, I thought it was always Frankie Gideon. Uh, hey, listen, all you got to do is uh, ask my main man, Dax Khan, uh, about uh, when we have to pronounce uh, Russian and, and uh, Japanese fighters oh. names. I, I, just, uh, I just I just say it uh, like I know what I'm talking about. And, and that's, he's, we going to name him, and that's what he's going to be all night. That's right. Nice, solid. Again, Yendris Rodriguez lands a solid punch to end the round, but I don't think it was enough to win the round. I think Frankie has uh, taken over this fight after the first round. I think uh, you could give uh, Yendris the, that first round, but that's it as far as I'm concerned. As we get uh, into the fifth round, of a scheduled six round fight. And we're getting a shot of the corner of uh, Frankie Gideon right now, getting instructions from his trainer, uh, Dave Luder. David Luder, who uh, is uh, very uh, animated. He was animated before in the, in the uh, dressing room and uh, uh, he's uh, getting through to his fighter right now. Long time uh, Palm Beach guy. They had gyms back in the day for MMA and boxing. It's good seeing him back in action. I was very happy to see that. 
Okay, as we get ready to start the uh, fifth round, scheduled six. And my man Yin, Yin just needs needs to try to run him into a right hand. You got to run Frankie into a perfect, pitcher perfect Deontay Wilder type right hand. Well, only Deontay Wilder can land that shot, but I think that yeah. what's happening is... Uh, well, he's, uh, gonna, yeah. he's trying it. He's trying. No, he's trying, but... I think that uh, I think Frankie is breaking him down. You know, I, and, and there's no doubt this is his only shot at it. And I think, but, well, I was gonna say I think also that um, if this fight was scheduled uh, eight or ten rounds, I, I think that the longer this fight goes, the, the, the better it is for Frankie Gideon. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. This, see, Yinja should have been uh, as busy in the second round as he was in the first round. He allowed Gideon to get back and, and start to fill in his flow. And he's not going to catch him with a solid shot because he's not setting him up. He's not working for it. He's just waiting on it. And, well, that, and when you do that, it, it generally doesn't come. Well, his last fight, I'm talking about uh, Rodriguez, which was his first fight of his career. Um, he fought, uh, I believe, uh, 160, 168 maybe. So he had to come down in weight, and Frankie actually uh, took this fight uh, at a higher weight than he felt comfortable with. And uh, at the end of the day, here we are in round five, and it looks like the weight hasn't affected either one of these guys. No. But they they have been a bit hesitant in this particular round. It's a rest as, round. As, as to let, you know, to let the hands go. It shouldn't be a rest round for... For her, uh, Yenjus. Yenjus, exactly. Well, he's he's continuing to do what he did. You know, he's that chasing him. He's not cutting the ring off. That's a very very amateur mistake, and he's not setting him up for anything but to land the right hand, which makes Gideon st just do what I said. Only he set him up with the right hand for the left hand. Frankie looks uh, pretty sharp to me. Yeah, yeah. And, he's gonna, uh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's got he's got Yandris in trouble. He might have just broke his nose. He, he, he set him up nicely, and there's another short right. Ah, ah, bang. Oh, first, he missed it. First but, body shot I saw. And uh, Yandris is uh, first time in the fight he's retreating. Yeah, he's... And uh, he's bleeding pretty badly from the nose and the mouth, which we're going to get on us here in a second. He's questioning whether he wants to go on or not. And the referee just stopped the fight uh, right uh, at the fifth round. Frankie Gideon is... Uh, and the judge next to me is wiping the blood off of him. And uh, we probably got blood on us. <laughs> and uh, better we, not. Right now we got uh, Frankie Gideon doing some uh, push-ups. Rope. And we're going to go to a uh, replay here of the uh, stoppage. Sure, hope he don't get hurt rolling. Here over. it is. A left, a right, See followed by another it. left. Ooh. Yendris is not defending himself. The referee did the right thing. He was in some trouble. Well, Alonzo's a good referee. He's been a really good referee We for got a the long doctor time. right in front of us. You know, I want one of those badges, you know what I mean? To hang around my neck like CSI. What do you think? They all like it. They like it. Here, here we go, Carl. Call the replay. I'm going to see Listen, if I can. Listen, he got a jab by Gideon. He goes to the body, sets him up with that straight left hand to the end, and followed by a right and another left right. A right left, rather. In the end, and uh, Jorge Alonso stepped in, very appropriately so, to stop this fight. Because I think the wheel of of of, of uh, yet yet just we're, we're going to go up to was, uh, Bob Alexander had, had for the official announcement away. right now. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please? Ladies and gentlemen, from the Kravis Center in West Palm Beach, Florida, your referee in charge, Jorge Alonso, calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes, 43 seconds of the fifth round. Your winner by TKO, Frankie the Flash Gideon! Well, we got the official announcement. What an entertaining fight. And, uh... 
I thought that uh, I thought that it was uh, it was a good fight. It was yeah. it was a good fight, and to and to uh, y- Yenj- what is it, Yendris? To yeah. Yendris credit for him to have one pro fight to step in with a guy of such experience of seven eight fights is a gutty thing to do. And.